Voltage measurements with differential amplifiers. A differential amplifier is an electrical device used to measure voltages. It has two inputs and one output. To convert the input voltages into an output, one of the inputs is subtracted from the other. This difference is then multiplied by a factor to produce the final output. A key consequence of this process is that noise common to both inputs is not carried through to the final output. This allows measurements of signals that may be much smaller than the ambient noise to be made. This feature is very important for making biological measurements, as the signals one wants to measure may be several orders of magnitude smaller than the ambient noise of the system. When measuring the electrical potential from a surface measurement of the human body, a recording electrode is attached to a point of interest and connected to one input of a differential amplifier. In many electrical systems, the second input of the amplifier would simply be earthed. However, in human measurements, this will produce a signal entirely obscured by ambient noise. Instead, the second input of the amplifier is connected to a reference electrode that is attached to another, electrically neutral, area of the body. The voltage recorded at this reference electrode will be equivalent to the noise of the signal from the recording electrode. Hence, when the two are combined by the differential amplifier, the output is essentially the desired signal, but without the ambient noise. An example of the use of differential amplifiers in surface measurements is that of the EEG. This technique involves measuring voltage changes across the scalp. However, changes in scalp voltage due to brain activity are of the order of microvolts, while ambient noise can be of the order of up to volts. Unless they are somehow eliminated, such noise levels will completely obscure the desired signal. A number of recording electrodes, which varies according to the experiment being performed, are placed across the scalp. Two reference electrodes are also attached, usually to the subject's ears. Each recording electrode is connected to one input of a differential amplifier. The second input of each amplifier is connected to one of the reference electrodes. The output from the differential amplifiers are then plotted over time to indicate the variation in electrical activity of the brain. 